hello viewers welcome to my channel the topic is uh, whooping cough you know and uh, this is a long topic and uh, there are multiple videos In the previous video is explained about uh, what are the causes what are the uh, signs and symptoms risk factors and about the vaccination and the history and uh, <clears throat> Today's topic is for how long does the whooping cough last and uh, how that whooping cough sounds like you know, you know uh, it can take up to three weeks uh, after the exposure to develop the symptoms and uh, the symptoms usually develop uh, within five to ten days after the infection you know and as I told earlier, uh, the symptoms happen in three stages. Now, the proximal stage, which is characterized by the coughing fits, it usually lasts from one to six weeks, but it can last for up to 10 weeks, you know. And the third and the final stage is the recovery stage. It lasts two to three weeks, you know. Now, as uh, I mentioned in the previous videos, uh, the characteristic of, of uh, protosis occurs in the second or the proximal stage, you know, of the illness. And there is a series of uh, uh, the bursts of the rapid coughs. And at the end of these coughs, a long inspiratory effort, uh, I mean the breathing in effort, is uh, usually accompanied by a high-pitched uh, whoop sound. Uh, for which the disease is named, you know. Uh, you know, the, the whooping cough uh, is uh, highly contagious, you know, and it spreads among the people by direct contact with the fluids from the nose or the mouth of the infected people. So that's how it spreads, you know. The next video will be out. Uh, can the adults uh, get whooping cough? Well, you know, whooping cough is considered to be an uh, illness of childhood, you know, and adults may also develop the disease even if they are vaccinated or they were vaccinated, you know, uh, as a child, you know, and because the immunity from the process vaccine decreases over the time but does not necessarily disappear, you know, so the adults who do become infected may have uh, retained a, a partial degree of the immunity against the infection that results the, in the milder illness, you know. And uh, although the illness usually uh, is milder in adults than in children, you know, in the duration uh, of the proximal cough last uh, just uh, as long as in children, you know. And the characteristic whoop that occurs after proximal bouts of uh, coughing is recognized in 20 to 40 percent of the adults with the whooping cough, you know. And uh, in adults, is more common than usually appreciated, accounting uh, for up to 7 percent of uh, uh, adults that cause the whooping cough each year, you know. And the infected adults are uh, a, like a source of infection for the children. So it's particularly important that the family members and the caregivers of the young infants uh, have been properly vaccinated, you know. You know, whooping cough uh, may be treated by the primary care physicians, including like internists or the family medical specialists or the maybe pulmonologists in severe cases, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. The next video will be for the treatment options. Goodbye.